Hello everyone, this is Ankita Rajput and welcome to 4 Pi Academy. So as you all know, you uh, had an exam on uh, 19th November 2020, okay, CSI and exam. Okay, so this video is based on the uh, some memory based questions. So we are providing some solutions of uh, this exam net 2020 exam okay and all the questions we included today uh, these questions are memory based okay so let's start so uh, this was the first question it's a five mark question and uh, as you can see uh, it's a complex analysis question okay and the question is uh, the function fw equals to integration uh, omega square minus 2 upon omega minus z okay this is your function and it's given to you so um, okay and it's, it's given to you and gamma is controlled clockwise of radius 3 okay and value function you have to find out the value of the function fz at z equals to 2 minus i so how we can solve this question okay you know that uh, the value of this uh, function z is uh, 2 minus i okay and at this value of z you have to find the value of function f of z so first we need to find out the uh, this z value okay so the uh, its value is under root 5 okay when you are uh, finding the mod it's under root 5 and as you know that your circle your contour is of radius of 3 so this under root 5 this point will lie inside this circle okay so to calculate the value of this function we need to find out the value of the residue okay first so how we can find out the residue the formula is simple because if you find the pole it w, uh, omega minus z equals to 0 okay so you have to find the residue at omega equals to z so this is a formula of residue its limit uh, omega tends to z omega minus z omega square minus 2 upon omega minus z this is a simple formula to calculate the residue okay and once you will solve this term will cancel out and uh, you will get omega square minus z and you will put the value of z that is 2 minus i and it's now the value of omega so it's basically 1 minus 4i so this 1 minus 4i is the value of your residue so the value of this function will be 2 pi by 2 pi i and residue and residue is 1 minus 4 i and then you can calculate the value of your function that is 2 pi i plus 8 pi okay so this option will be there in the uh, okay so this is your correct option okay so these problems are not that much difficult you can easily solve your these kinds of problems okay so uh, the second problem uh, is uh, it's also five mark question okay and uh, the hamiltonian of a system is given here and it's j s1 s2 plus s2 s3 okay and si equals to plus minus one the, this is the spin s is the spin and you have three particles here having spin s1 s2 and s3 and i equals to one two three so what is the partition function okay so for this system you have to calculate the partition function so how you can calculate the partition function so uh, first uh, approach is you can choose ising model okay you all know about the ising model and uh, almost in each paper okay in each paper you have questions based on these ising model okay so you can choose ising model so by ising model if you remember the ising model the formula of partition function for n particles okay uh, this is your formula partition function z equals to 2 to the power n cos hyperbolic beta t to the power n minus 1 so if you have n particles you will use this formula but here you have three particles so you will use this formula n equals to 3 so simply this is a trick your partition function will be 2 to the power 3 cos cos hyperbolic beta t whole square so this is the answer okay so you can also use uh, other method okay if you don't know much about the ising model so you can use the alternative method what is the method as in the Hamiltonian you have three spins okay s1 s2 s3 so the possible value of these spins are plus minus one so these values can take plus one value and minus one value so based on the possible combinations we will have these combinations okay so uh, first is all the values of these three spins s1 s2 s3 they may be one 
ओके बोथ वैल्यू एस वन एस टू दे बी बी माइनस वन एंड एस थ्री ऑल्सो माइनस वन सो इन दिस वे वी कैन हैव दीज एट पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज स्पिन एंड बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यूज ऑफ एस वन एस टू एंड एस थ्री वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एच बिकॉज हेमल्ट टन ऑफ द सिस्टम इज गिवेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ दीज एस वन एस टू एस थ्री ओके एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द एच वैल्यू मीन्स टोटल एनर्जी सो इन दिस केस इट विल बी टू जे टू जे जीरो माइनस टू जे जीरो जीरो माइनस टू जे जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एनर्जी सो नाउ वी कैन सिंपली यूज द बेसिक फॉर्मूला ऑफ पार्टीशन फंक्शन दैट इज दैट इज गोज टू सिग्मा आई जी आई ई टू दी पार बीटा ई आई okay this is a basic function and everyone know about this formula okay gi is the possible uh, okay degeneracy we can say so uh, we have possible values of energy zero we have 2j we have and minus 2j so for zero we have four values okay so correspondingly gi will be four and energy is zero okay and 2j for 2j we have two so degeneracy is 2 so it will be 2 e to the power 2 beta j and similarly for energy minus 2 j we have 2 so this is your formula you can easily solve this equation so it will be 4 plus 2 and e to the power 2 beta j plus e to the power minus 2 beta j will be cos hyperbolic 2 beta j okay so you can further solve this problem and uh, okay and this will be this because cos hyperbolic 2 uh, theta is you know the formula okay it will be 2 cos square theta minus 1 so we will use this formula and this will be your answer z will be 2 to the power 3 cos hyperbolic beta t square so based on these two approaches you have uh, you can uh, find the solution okay so this is the very important question and it's very common in these examination so our uh, next problem is from quantum mechanics it's also five mark question and problem is not uh, difficult at all so it's for one uh, dimensional potential well perturbed hamiltonian is given to you this is a perturbed hamiltonian and it's uh, epsilon delta x minus a by 2 okay what is the perturbation in ground state and first excited state energy for first order so you have to calculate first order perturbation in ground state energy and first excited state energy so this problem is very very simple you know the formula how to calculate the first order uh, correction or perturbation in energy this is a formula integration psi n star h dash psi n dx okay so psi n is a wave function of your state so we have a uh, this uh, potential well so for potential well uh, we know that this is the formula of ground state because general formula is psi n under root 2 upon a sin n pi x upon a so ground state is basically n equals to 1 so it is psi 1 so we will use this psi 1 here okay because we are uh, calculating the ground state correction in energy so you can put the value of uh, psi 1 and uh, psi 1 star and they both are same under root 2 upon a sin pi x upon a so it will be const it is constant so hum usko bahar uh, le sakte hain and it will be sin square pi x by 2 and delta function it's h dash delta x minus a by 2 so the limit is uh, from 0 to a because it's a 1d potential well of dimension a so at x equals to a by 2 this function will be 1 you know the property of delta function so we will put the value of x a by 2 so it will be sin square pi by 2 and it will be 2 epsilon by a so first order correction in ground state energy will be 2 epsilon by a in same way we can calculate um, the correction or perturbation in energy for first excited state so what is the wave function for first excited state it will be Under root two upon a sine two pi x upon a because ground state is n equals to one and first excited state will be n equals to two, so in similar way we will use this wave function, okay? And uh, here at x equals to a by two similarly the function this delta function will be one, so we will put x equals to a by two, so it will be sine square pi and you know that sine square pi is zero sine pi equals to zero, so e two dash will be zero means first order correction in excited state will be zero so this is your answer okay so it will be present in the options so it's easy 
uh, your next problem is uh, this is a problem we can say from statistical so your problem is Hamiltonian of a system is given and it's px square upon 2m plus lambda x to the power 4 so this is the Hamiltonian of a function and you have to calculate the average internal energy average internal energy so uh, the important and very short method is you know corresponds to the quadratic term in energy or Hamiltonian the internal energy is 1 by 2 kBT this is the equipartition law of energy so and uh, if you have for quadratic term it's half kb kt okay and uh, also if you have a term having power 4 the average internal energy will be 1 by 4 kbt this is also uh, a formula okay so you have to remember this thing if a uh, quadratic term the corresponding uh, internal energy is half kbt and for uh, a term having power 4 so uh, this will be 1 by 4 kbt so total internal energy for the system will be 1 by 2 kbt corresponds to px square term and plus 1 by 4 kbt corresponds to x to the power 4 term so it will be 3 by 4 kbt uh, your next problem is also 5 mark uh, question and it's from nuclear physics your problem is uh, binding energy of a system is given and what is the formula here for binding energy it's a1a a minus a2 a to the power 2 by 3 minus a3 z square a to the power minus 1 by 3 minus a by uh, a4 a minus 2 z a inverse and the value of a4 upon a3 is given it's 30 and you have to find out the atomic number z for minimum value okay for minimum value of this binding energy you have to calculate the value of atomic number so it's very simple problem for minimum binding energy this del v over del z should be zero you know this thing so you have to just differentiate this formula with respect to z and equate it equals to zero okay so we have z in these two terms in this term and in this term so we will differentiate only these two terms and will equate it equals to zero so we will further solve this okay uh, we will solve this okay and we have to find the value of z okay so by solving we can easily calculate the value of z and it's 60 a upon uh, a to the power 2 by 3 plus 120 okay so that's how you can calculate the atomic number z corresponds to minimum binding energy your next problem is uh, two bodies we have two bodies having temperature ta 400 kelvin and tb 200 kelvin okay so these are the two bodies having these temperature and their area is also given okay the area of body a is uh, twice the area of body b and you have to calculate these pa over pb means pressure of body a upon pressure of body b so how we will solve this problem it's very easy pressure is proportional to fourth power of temperature and also pressure is proportional directly proportional to area how we are uh, saying this thing because you know um, the Stephen's law energy is proportional to t to the power 4 and also the energy is proportional to area so also pressure will be like this okay so your pa over pv will be ta to the power 4 aa upon tb uh, to the power 4 a b so you have all the values of t a t b and a a a b so just put the values of temperature and area and you can easily find out the difference this uh, ratio p a over p v and it's 32 okay so this is your answer uh, your next problem is uh, from uh, emt and electric field is given an electric field vector is E naught 2x 3 plus 3y minus omega t in vacuum. And for this you have to find out what is the direction of E. You have to find out the direction of E. So these kinds of questions, uh, in these kinds of questions basically we figure out the options. Because you know that the direction of uh, electric field, magnetic field and the propagation vector, these are perpendicular to each other. So uh, basically k dot e will be 0, you know e and you know k, then uh, you can uh, 
use this okay so in this uh, electric field vector we can find out the this propagation vector because e equals to e naught kx minus uh, omega t or kz minus omega t is a general uh, uh, equation of these electric field and magnetic field also so we can find out the vector so this is your k vector okay propagation vector and it's 2x cap plus 3y cap or we can write it's 2y cap plus 3j cap so this condition should be fulfilled okay so in options you have will have only one value of e one direction of e for which this condition will be satisfied so we will find that option so there is a option uh, in your option that was i minus 2 by 3 j k okay so this is your e so for this we will check k dot equals to 0 you have k that is 2 i plus 3 j and this is your e we will check and for this we are uh, finding 0 so that is your correct option uh, your next problem is uh, we have a linear harmonic oscillator okay and for s equals to half particles this is a spin we have these spin half particles four particles we have and masses m and 4m and they are to be put okay so ground state will be obtained if so in a linear harmonic oscillators we have four spin half particles having masses m and 4m so what will be the ground state energy so these are the uh, possible options all four are of mass m so in uh, ground state if all four particles are there having mass m and all second option is all four particles are there uh, having masses m one particle of mass m and one uh, and all other particles of mass 4m and last option is two of mass m and two of mass m so how we will calculate this you know that uh, using Pauli's exclusion principle uh, not more than two particles can uh, stay in a single state because we are talking about the spin half particles okay so not more than two particles can uh, be there in a single state so this rule will also uh, we will apply here so in a ground state the energy should be minimum so for a linear harmonic oscillator this is a formula of energy that is n plus half h cut omega and omega is what omega is under root k by m so means angular frequency is inversely proportional to under root m so more is the mass less will we will have energy so not more than two particles can is uh, can be there in a single state so only option which uh, should be correct uh, correct is there will be two particles of mass m and two of mass 4m because not more than uh, two particles having same mass can be there so this is the right option d is the right option so we try to cover a uh, few uh, problems based on uh, these are the memory based problems okay so in our next um, video we will also uh, collect some more problems of uh, csi net gate uh, csi net examination okay so thanks everyone